Hello everyone and welcome back to Everlast Cyber. In today's video, we'll be talking about the various networking cables that you need to know to be able to take the CompTIA A plus certification exam. For the CompTIA A plus certification exam, there are three main types of cables you need to know, which are the twisted pair cable, fiber optic cable, and the coaxial cable. Taking a look at the twisted pair cable, this cable is used for transmission of both digital and analog signals, and it is one of the most popular types of cables in use today. It is made up of two insulated copper cables that are twisted together to reduce the electromagnetic interference. This twisting also helps to keep the wires separated so that they do not touch each other and cause a short circuit. Now, under the twisted pair cables, we have two types of cables, which are the unshielded twisted pair and the shielded twisted pair. The unshielded twisted pair has various categories. So this is where we find the CAT3, CAT5, CAT5E, CAT6, CAT6A, CAT7, and even the CAT8 cables. It's usually used in telephone networks and in Ethernet networks. Its advantages include that it is cost effective and it is typically easy to install. However, it has the disadvantage of being susceptible to electromagnetic interference and crosstalk compared to the shielded cable. Taking a look at the shielded twisted bear, it is used in environments with high electromagnetic interference. So this gives it a better performance in noisy environments. The disadvantage of the shielded twisted pair is that it is more expensive and it is less flexible than the unshielded twisted pair. Now we're going to look at the various connectors that are used for the twisted pair cables. We have two types of connectors, which are the RJ11 and the RJ45. The RJ11 is used in analog for voice and telephone while the RJ45 is used in LAN and ADSL connections. So this is what you need to know about the connector types for the cables. There are also wiring standards that you need to know, which are the straight through and the crossover cables. For the straight through cable, both ends of the cable have the same wiring standards, which is either the T568A or the T568B. It is used to connect different types of devices like a router to a switch, a computer to a modem, or a computer to a hub. For the crossover cable, one end of the cable follows the T568A standard, while the other end follows the T568B standard. It is used to connect similar devices directly without a switch or hub, and some examples of these connections with the crossover cable is, includes router to router, switch to switch, and computer to computer. For the straight through cable, both ends have, um, for instance, the T568B um, standard. And um, for the different pins, we see that pin one will have the white slash orange, pin two will have the orange, pin three is the white slash green, pin four is blue, pin five is white slash blue, pin six is green, pin seven is white slash brown, while pin 8 is brown. However, for the crossover cable, one end is the either the T56A, while the other end will be the T56B. The next type of cable we'll be looking at is the coaxial cable. Coaxial cables are used for various types of data transmission, including cable television and the traditional Ethernet networks. It has a plastic jacket, a metal shielding, dielectric insulator as well as the center wire conductor. The coaxial cable has two types which are the RG6 and the RG59 and these are the two that are typically used in networking as we know it. The RG6 is used in cable TVs, satellites and cable modems and it has distances of up to 304 meters or 1000 feet. The RG59 is used in analog video or CCTV connections, and it has a maximum distance of 228 meters or 750 feet. There are two types of connectors that are used for the coaxial cable, and they are the BNC connector and the F connector. From the 
pictures that I've put up here, we can see that the BNC has the male and the female, and the F connector as well has the male and the female. So these are the two types of connectors that I use. Coaxial connectors, the, for the BNC connectors, it's usually used in professional video equipment and some radio frequency applications, while the F connector is used to conduct electric signals to TV sets. The next cable is the fiber optic cable, and it is used to transmit data as light signals, thereby providing high speed data transmission over long distances. There are two types of um, the fiber, which is a single mode fiber and the multi mode fiber. The fiber optic cables is used for backbone networks, it is used for long distance telecommunication as well as high speed data communication. It also uses connectors like the straight tip connector or ST, the subscriber connector or SC, and the Lucent connector or LC. The ST connector is used with both the single mode and the multi-mode fibers. The, S, the subscriber connector or SC works with either the single mode or the multi-mode optic fiber as well, while the Lucent connector which is commonly called a local connector, is a mini form factor connector, and it is usually used in a push-pull latch configuration. There are also different types of other cables that are used in networking, like the USB cables, the SATA cables, the serial cables, and the SCSI cables, but, but the most common cables that are used in networking as we know it today are these three types that I've just explained, which are the twisted pair cable, the fiber optic cable and the coaxial cable. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and also hit the subscribe button so that you'll be notified when our next video drops. Thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one.